Hey guys, I got something really cool, by the way, I wanna share with you. Share the wealth, right? The magazine wealth, look at this. Special shout out to Marcella who sent me this and so many other Van Damme cover magazines, GQ, Details, Entertainment Weekly, uh, Inside Karate, and so many more. Anyway, I am going to, in this video, go over this one, Blockbuster Magazine, the video magazine from February 1992, Muscles from Brussels, John claude Van Damme. Today's hottest action star is ready for something a little more romantic. So obviously that refers to Nowhere to Run, which uh, I think he was about to go into production with. But this really covers Double Impact that had just gone to the theater and now it's on video release. And there's an interview, I'm gonna share that. But if you like this kind of video, make sure to comment below and I'll cover all these other cool magazine. So I'll read the articles and uh, provide a little commentary. But with this one, let's see what we got. Oh, and it just gives you an idea, by the way, a reminder to, you know, a lot of us on how big of a deal Van Damme was back in the day. And any newer Van Damme fans who might come across the channel, it's like he transcended just being this martial arts movie star. I mean, he was on the cover of GQ magazine. That That's insane. Insanely awesome. But anyway, there's some great photos in here, by the way. Even my wife had commented, oh, what an amazingly handsome man. Well, of course. So that's the cool thing about Van Damme is like, look, the guys loved him because he had the body and he had the martial arts and he was just such a badass in the movies, right? He, he was one in a million, mm -hmm. wasn't he? I mean, incredible physique. The, the best physique I've ever seen on a man, let's be honest. And the martial arts and, and everything, you know, he's like, he, he, had it, he had it all, he had the whole package. And those guys, they come around uh, every so often. And real life seemed like a really cool guy, but just such a badass in the movies. And then the women, they were in love with him too, because you know, he's a good looking guy. So um, that's one reason he was so popular because he got, he got doubly audience. A lot of times just guys would watch these movies, but he brought in that female audience. And uh, yeah, my wife will tell you why. <laughs> All right, so Jean-Claude Van Damme. Story was by Joey Berlin. Photos by Randy St. Nicholas. The muscles from Brussels is flexing his career. I don't like to fight, says Jean-Claude Van Damme, ex-middleweight champion of the European Professional Karate Association turned action movie hero. Anybody who questions that, by the way, check out the video linked in the description below talking about like his real fight record, right? A lot of people question that. Uh, he definitely competed, he definitely fought. So check that video out for more information. But anyway, he says, in fact, I cannot fight now. I cannot touch anybody because if something happens, I'll be sued even if I am protecting myself, which is true. And then people will ask questions. Well, why does someone like Van Damme have bodyguards or uh, Steven Seagal or Conor McGregor, these guys? Well, it's not like they can't take care of themselves. It's uh, they can't take care of their money. So yes, people will provoke them just so they could get punched in the face and then get a million dollar lawsuit, which sucks. It's kind of disgusting that people would do that, but that's why these guys have to have bodyguards. The article goes on to say, unfortunately for the bad guys in his movies, Van Damme has no such constraints when he's in front of the cameras. His unique fighting style combining the grace of ballet with the power of a steamroller has battered and bloodied a frightening array of heavies and such action favorites as Bloodsport, Kickboxer, Death Warrant, and Lionheart. But in his new video, the muscles from Brussels takes on his most challenging opponent to date, himself. A summer box office hit crashing into video stores this month Double Impact cast Van Damage, as he likes to call himself, as identical twin brothers separated at the age of six months when gangsters murdered their parents in Hong Kong. Chad was saved by a friend and raised in California, while Alex wound up in Hong Kong's orphanage. Double Impact follows the action when the twins meet and do battle before joining forces to avenge their parents' death. This was my toughest film to make, physically and mentally, says Van Damme. Also, it was a challenge for me acting-wise to go from those low-budget karate movies to my first decent-budget action film with a relationship and with two Van Dams. There's a really funny story, by the way, uh, that writer-director Sheldon Ledditch told about a guy who thought, like, Van Dam just had a brother. There's two of them. He wasn't just playing in two different roles, that he had a real-life brother. This is somebody that I actually ran into, had a conversation with. Um, I didn't tell him who I was, and he was just saying, that's not the same guy. Van Damme has got a brother, and you can see it clearly in that movie. It's two different people. Like, okay, I guess you know more about it than I do. So anyway, uh, check that video out. Uh, for more of Sheldon, by the way, check out his new book from Vietnam to Van Damme. All this stuff's linked in the description below, by the way. 
Uh, pick this up from Amazon. This is great. Get so much behind the scenes on Double Impact and more. And then, oh, MVD collection, Blu-ray. Oh, look at all these special features. It's ridiculous what's on this on this MVD rewind collection of Double Impact. So, yeah, check that out, man, for more Double Impact stuff. But let's get back to the article. Van Damme times two. Playing different characters in the same movie is considered to be a test of skill for an actor. You of all people should know I would never in my life wear black silk underwear. Wait, wait, wait. Van Damme says he was able to perform the roles by clearly defining the two personalities in his own mind. The real Van Damme is Chad, he explains. In real life, I'm a guy who loves to express himself. I love to have my friends around me at a table enjoying a good dinner. I love to train. I love to run. I love life. That is me. So Chad was not so difficult. But in all the movies I made before, I played characters close to Alex. That's where I found Alex, who's very macho and keeps to himself. I was going from A to Z and Z to A. Van Damme co-wrote Double Impact with director Sheldon Lettich as he was able to shape the script to help differentiate the characters. What made him crazy, he says, was performing the fight between Chad and Alex. Having Van Damme fight Van Damme was very tricky, he laughs. We had to work with a blue screen, a motion control camera, and split screens. I'd have to change costumes and take a kick or a punch from nowhere. It was very complicated, but it works. I'm always involved in the cutting room for my fight scenes to make them special. So when you know how to cut a fight scene, you know what to start with and what you'll need to frame it. Yeah, that was a big part of Van Damme's success, is that he really, really knew how to showcase himself. In all those early Van Damme films that you see in those fights, like Bloodsport, big history behind how he recut that, right? Uh, Kickboxer, Cyborg, etc. It's like... It all has that special Van Damme flavor, not not just because he's in there as the actor, but just the way the films are put together. So yeah, man, he was a genius. Ever since Van Damme arrived in America 10 years ago, he's been obsessed with reaching superstardom. So him and Michelle Kesey both came out here in 1982. Uh, when he's not shooting a new movie, he's making appearances and giving interviews for the one before. And because his star shines brightly in his native Europe, he racks up more miles than a lot of airline pilots, crisscrossing the Atlantic to blow the horn for his movies. If you want to be at the top of the box office, you've got to promote like heck, he says. I came from the bottom and I know how hard it is. Luckily, I was not right away in a big movie. I grew up learning to love promotion. You have to go and talk about your movie and meet people and shake hands. Despite his European appeal, however, Van Damme has yet to enjoy a huge box office smash with any one picture. Instead, his career has been slowly and steadily building up steam on video. I'm a miracle, a video miracle, says Van Damme. All my success came from those videos. My first movie, Bloodsport, became a legend in the karate world, like Enter the Dragon. The next best one was Kickboxer, a big video renter, and Cyborg did well too. Lionheart is also good now, but Double Impact is going to be the biggest yet because of all the action. Enter the women. Born Jean-Claude Van Verberg in Belgium 31 years ago. Okay, so yeah, he was born in 1960. Yeah, he's 62 now. Wow, he's, he's double his age than when this was written. That's crazy how quick time flies. So born Jean-Claude Van Varenberg in Belgium 31 years ago, Van Damme's accent was once seen as a major handicap to his career. A motorcycle. It's a motor, a motor, a what? You're not from around here, are you? But the success of Austria's Arnold Schwarzenegger demonstrates that it can be overcome. I am tired of the same old phrases, the same old things. Besides, Van Damme believes women like it. Yeah, I would say that's true. Obviously not speaking from the perspective of a woman, but just in general, like that French accent, like w women like those accents, man. <laughs> Use that to your advantage if you got a cool French accent, by the way. Uh, they told me to keep it, my French accent. I've got so many fan letters from ladies saying that they love my movies, but what about doing a movie with a relationship and a love scene? So we did that in Double Impact. Now, wherever I go, I feel not like a movie star, but like a rock star. Anywhere I go, I've got ladies going crazy. That same motivation attracting a female audience led Van Damme to cast television fitness star Corey Everson as one of the villains in Double Impact. Van Damme calculated that women would get a kick out of seeing a woman do things that were once reserved for macho heroes. Corey is a very well known and she's got a beautiful physique, says Van Damme. It's great to have her as a villain because the people love her on the screen. She fights mean, she goes for it. She grabbed me in some very private places. Family Man. Lest women get too excited, Van Damme is a self-proclaimed family man. Married to bodybuilder Gladys Portuguese, together they have two small children, daughter Bianca and son Christopher. The boy is just old enough to begin to understand that his daddy is different than other daddies. Guys, I actually interviewed Chris Van Damme in a series of videos and those are quite amazing. And I had asked him that question. I literally asked him that question like, at what point did you realize and know that, hey, my dad's different, right? Uh, and he answered that, man. R really cool videos. Great guy. 
And then this magazine article further says, my son is very impressed. He's so shy with me. Every time I look at him, he's looking down. He knows I'm bigger than life because he's seen me on TV. And he's so proud when he can bring me an Evian bottle or something. It's like a mission for him when I say, you did it, son. It's like an Academy Award for him. Van Damme frankly confesses that, like many successful fathers, he doesn't get enough time with his children. That's the toughest thing for me. I regret that. But he doesn't regret anything else about his career. Action movie stars always criticize for the limitations of their genre, but Van Damme takes things one step at a time. It's just like Mel Gibson doing Mad Max, he offers. You cannot go from Mad Max to Hamlet. You have to do Lethal Weapon first. That short scene when he was thinking about his wife and he put his gun in his mouth, that enabled him to play Hamlet. I don't want to disappoint my action fans, but all those people who love action also have a heart. They love movies about passion and relationships. Yeah, that's true. We love, we just love very human stories, right? If we could connect with this somehow, then yeah, we're down. Blonde Ambition. Make no mistake about it, becoming very, very big at the box office in America is Van Damme's goal. In Europe, Stallone, Arnold, and Van Damme are equal. Also in South America, he reports, I'm growing finally here because now I'm with a major studio. Now my face is on magazines, on billboards, and on television. I'm going to go very big in this country. The next step in Van Damme's campaign for superstardom will be Universal Soldier, a big-budget sci-fi action adventure co-starring Dolph Lundgren. He'll play a half-man, half-robot who escapes from his program world out into the real world, where Lundgren has to track him down and eliminate him. Obviously, there will be plenty of action, but in keeping with Van Damme's plans, he'll also be protecting a female reporter. So, yeah, Universal Soldier, that was a huge hit, and it spawned several sequels, so that was really good for Van Damme's career in, in the early 90s. Further down the line is a flat-out romance, or perhaps first his directorial debut with the currently untitled project he believes will be the greatest martial arts film ever. Of course, he's talking about the quest. And then Van Damme says, it will be set in 1930, period piece, he promises. I think of it as a magnificent four, not seven, but four, or maybe Ben Hur and Spartacus with karate. Six months of shooting, it'll have the best fighting ever, it'll cost $25 million to make, and we'll do it in China. Here it will cost 60 million. I extensively covered the quest, and I, I don't personally think it was as good as Bloodsport, but it, it did, does hold up pretty well. I actually like it more than when I first seen it in the theater. Anyway, uh, make sure to watch that video. Also, link it in the description below, of course. And then the article says, To reach his ultimate goal, however, Van Damme realizes that it will take more than action. Even working with Dolph, that doesn't help me because it's the same action crowd, he concludes. No, if I'm doing a movie with a comedy star, he'll bring in his audience and we'll do double at the box office. You know who came to me? Arsenio Hall. That's a good combination, like Arnold and DeVito and Twins. But for right now, Double Impact has comedy and action and a love scene, he smiles. We've got something good going here. So yeah, Double Impact was amazing. But as far as Van Damme doing like that buddy film with a comedian, he never got Arsenio Hall, unfortunately. He did get Dennis Rodman in Double Team, though. Uh, Dennis Rodman, by the way, is no, no comedian, though. I think he tried to be funny. Who's airball? Uh, I don't quite think it worked. The movie was very bizarre, and obviously I covered that in the video. But the other, the real comic he worked with, Rob Schneider, uh, in Knock Off, and that was an interesting movie. Humble. Move that big, beautiful ass of yours! <laughs> so, those films, by the way, didn't exactly perform and they were like in the later 90s and it kind of, uh, you know, led to the decline of Van Damme's box office draw and you guys know the rest, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, he had an amazing run in the 90s, man. And he always had his thoughts set out on bigger things. Like as far as like that romance film, obviously he's talking about Nowhere to Run. Uh, they did add some action elements in there. It's going to be a, a different type of film for me. We'll have some action, so we'll be in good shape. And funny enough, I think that script was originally written by Joe Estehaus. I think that's how you pronounce the name. But the guy that, that wrote Basic Instinct. So it had a lot of potential, though I think they did change the script quite a bit. But anyway, at the end of the day, look, Van Damme's career has been quite fascinating. Going from these like lower budget karate films to like these action adventure films to you know, trying to branch out to like the romance and trying to branch out to like the, the action comedy and then kind of just going back to what people expected because that that's that's what the a lot of the audience wanted to see in those movies would sell. Unfortunately, the, the, the production budgets did get smaller. The film quality has gone down over the last 20 years. Those there's a couple of gems out there, but hey man, a fascinating article nonetheless. 
and you know this channel is all about like remembering the, the 80s and 90s primarily i cover other stuff too of course but uh it's really this era man it, the era of greatness right anyway comment below if you want to see me cover these other articles right